Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. Um, today I thought I'd talk a little bit about what it's like studying full time and working full time because um, I found it really hard to get a kind of balance in place um, as I've started doing this kind of thing and I just thought it would be nice to talk about it in case anybody else was thinking of possibly doing that in their future. So, I um, am studying psychology through the Open University, I'm in my second year of studies um, and I also work 37 and a half hours a week as an admin assistant um, within uh, kind of like an NHS organisation um, and sometimes the two prove quite difficult um, to balance um, especially with the kind of structure of my course so that's what I'm going to talk about first is like how my course is structured personally um yeah so let's jump into it so my first year i did two modules i did 260 credit modules which make up the full 120 credits for the year um i did um i can't remember what i was saying i'm not very prepared um so i did the first module was kind of like an introduction to the social sciences um that was 60 credits and that ran from october until may and because it was my first year, I wanted to stagger my studies because I wasn't 100% sure if I could manage doing two um, full courses side by side like that. So the second one I did was a course um, which was DE100, Introduce, um, Introduction to Psychology or something like that, um, Investigating Psychology. And in that um, course, I asked for it to run January through to October. So that meant that there was only kind of an overlap of like four or five months where there was proper, I was juggling both horses at once. Um, so that was, I found that relatively easy and in hindsight I feel that it was probably because it was my first year and there wasn't as much going on. Um, the material was a lot easier to follow I felt. Um, and yeah, I, I made time for it really. I didn't have as much going on in my life. Um, it was easy enough to kind of set aside time so what I did for the first year with the two 60 credit modules is I basically split my week in half so for the first half of the week I concentrate on one module and for the second part of the week I concentrate on the other um, and this was whilst working primarily nine to five um, it did help that I was around other people that were also studying so um, for that first year, Megan was also studying, so, and we weren't living together either, so we had to be quite strict on ourselves about not going out and not going places, um, and just sticking to, to studying. Um, it wasn't fun, I'm not gonna lie. There were lots of times I could have quite easily, um, given up and not done the work, the work that I had to do. But I kind of pushed through and it was a lot easier when I was back down to one module um, and that was over the summer. Um, I had to take it on holiday with me, um, so we went on a two week holiday and I had to take my course work with me to keep up. Um, so there were a couple of pros and cons about doing that the first year. So I would say the pros for splitting it, so doing one October to May and then one um, January to October. It was that you had that period either side where you were only doing one course. However, it meant that I didn't get a summer break. So Megan is studying part time. She's only doing one 60 credit module a year or two 30 credits to make up the 60. Um, and she had that break over the summer where she didn't actually have any studying to do. She had no no assignments to do in, no essays that she needed to do. She could just relax. Whereas I was still working, um, so it was hard not having a break. And then when it, so my second year, which I'm in now, I've done it a bit differently. So I picked my modules in the summer, um, and one of the modules for the psychology, the B, BSc psychology course for the Open University is that you have to do the investigating psychology modules. So there's three of them, one for each year of study, or one every other year, depending on how you're doing it. Um, and you have to finish each kind of block so each year as it would be so if you're doing it part-time 
every second year has to be um, an investigating psychology module. So I had to do that one, which was 60 credits. Um, and I didn't like the look of the other 60 credit module. It just wasn't what I found interesting. Um, so I opted to do two 30 credit modules in addition, um, which in hindsight might be why um, this year is a lot more stressful. So instead of only having two modules to do, I've got three. Um, but technically the other two are kind of half modules, so theoretically half the work. So they make up a full, the equivalent of a full module. So the three that I'm doing for my second year is DE200, Investigating Psychology 2. I'm doing D240, which is counselling and psychotherapy. And the third one is, um, oh God, it's got a really long name. It's uh, The code for it is SDK228. 288 I can't remember um, and that one is more kind of the sciencey the neuroscience side of things um, neuron synapses all the stuff that goes straight over my head and the best way I have found um, don't get me wrong we're now in December it's taken me since October to kind of find a, a flow it's taken a lot of um, flapping late night studying um, I've had to ask for extensions on two of my assignments because I just I couldn't get into a headspace. So I found the best way to do it is through Google Calendar and blocking out and scheduling my time um, at the weekends especially and also in the evenings for when I'm doing each module. Um, because I got into the, the kind of groove of focusing on one so much and being on top of that but then suddenly I turned around and I was six weeks behind on the other two and I had to play catch up quickly before an assignment was due in so I I use Google calendars um, I block my time out so but I do it as slots instead of hour by, hour by hour it's kind of blocked time so for example this morning I did from nine o'clock until twelve o'clock of the DE 200 so investigating psychology um, I've actually got an assignment due in for that next week before the Christmas break so I will take that with me tonight I so tonight I have a babysitting um, job um, I will take that work with me tonight and do some more then tomorrow um, I'll see if I can get a, like a screen but basically I've blocked my time out so I've blocked my breaks um, and then I've got blocks of time for when I'm going to do each um, module. Um, a bit like kind of school, it's the same principle of having lessons I suppose. Um, but the problem I have is I need to physically move myself, I found, otherwise I just won't do it. So what my plan is, um, is tomorrow morning when Megan goes to work, I will start with um, my counselling and psychotherapy module. I'll start doing that at the dining table. Um, I'll have everything set up there that I need. So I have a separate notebook for each of my modules and obviously I have the course books. So I have the appropriate notebook and the appropriate module book on the table ready for me to go. Um, I'll do that until, so from nine until 12, so three hour block. Then I'll give myself a half an hour window. And then I'll go to a coffee shop for the afternoon to do the other module. So that will already be packed in a bag, ready for me to go. The only thing that I'll have to take with me um, from the other study session would be my laptop. So I put that in a bag and I will go to a coffee shop and sit and do the other module because it's a separate headspace. So it's just, I find it easier to stick to what I'm doing and absorb it better if I'm in a different environment, if I've moved myself physically to a different space. I don't have enough self-control to just go into the next room. I will because the next room is in here so I've got so many distractions in here I've got the telly I obviously have my phone films tidying organizing anything and any everything to avoid doing work um, so a coffee shop for me is the best best option um, if it was on a different day so tomorrow's a Sunday if it was a different day I would possibly do the library um, that's a bit difficult around here because um, there's quite a few students going to college um, and the secondary school, so sometimes they're in there and it can get a bit busy. But if you pick, play cards right and pick your time, um, sometimes the library is a really good option. Or um, I have previously just gone to my parents and sat. Or I've stayed late at work, so we have desk space at work. 
Um, so if other people are doing no time and other people are in the building, I will stay um, and obviously not count it as like working time, but I'll use the desk space in one of the rooms because I'm there and it's before I go home. So I haven't had a chance to go home, sit down and do something else and put it off. So that that's pretty much my schedule for working and studying. I work Monday to Friday, so I do the majority of my work um, for uni at the weekends. I try and fit it in in the evenings, but the week evenings are, are quite busy. Um, and I personally, I mean, they the recommended study hours, I think, is 35 to 40 for full-time study. I don't do that, personally. Um, I don't, but then I, I skip bits, which is really bad and I'm hoping I won't get to the end of the degree and be like <gasps> I should have done that um, but I don't do the repetitive stuff so I, I the way I learn is I write things down so I have notebooks upon notebooks and basically rewriting the module books um, I don't like the online activities so that's something you get when you study with the Open University you get access to online activities they have maps they have like tutorial things activities all of that on there and I choose not to do that because I don't find it helpful I did it for some of my for one of my modules for my first year and I kind of I found it a waste of my time I preferred using that time to do something else like write something up again or read over again go through and highlight it again um so that's my personal preference so I don't do 35 to 40 hours of studying a week I probably do more like maximum 20 um, but I read quickly um, and that, that's just how I study I also perform much better under pressure so I, I'm not one of those people that can start an assignment like I don't know three weeks before it's due in and add a bit and a bit and a bit and a bit I've got an assignment due in on Wednesday so four days time and I've written the title that that is how I roll um, you get the blind panic the evening before and it's done and it's handed in I've got someone to read through it and double check that it's right um, I will look at the question so I'll look at the question a couple of weeks in advance just to make sure I understand it I won't actually start any work on it any reading or anything like that till probably the day before maybe the day before that depending on how big an assignment it is um, so yeah, that's just a quick brief rundown of like my study schedule, how I schedule my time um, and how it works in terms of having a full time job at the same time because for a lot of people now that is the main option, it's, it's hard, especially if you're a class as a mature student, which I am, uh, I think. I mean I'm not 18 and I'm not going to a physical university and living on site um, I don't ever go to a physical university. I I go to study days at the local college where the Open Uni will hold study days. I do that, but I don't. I do not actually go to physical lectures and learn about the things. It's it's primarily self-taught. Um, so yeah, I will. I'll do probably another video at another time talking about what it's like studying with the OU. But for n oh my god. <laughs> That's a downside to living in a flat on a high street. Um, it gets very noisy. So another reason I take myself off other places to study because it's quite distracting, especially at the weekend. So there, that's that's pretty much it. Um, as I said, I'll probably do some more videos in terms of like how I study, um, what my study space looks like. Um, as I said, what it's like studying with the OU. Um, uh, yeah, but for now that is a brief outline of what it's like to study um, whilst working full time. So please hit the subscribe button um, for more content. Um, yeah, and leave a comment if you're also studying with the Open Uni. Um, I'd be interested to see what your thoughts are. So yeah, bye!